Hi, this is Ruth Teresa with One Inspiring Woman, and today I have a little bit of a quick message. It kind of seems like the clients I have been seeing the last couple of days have been really dealing with a lot of the same issues, but it's really kind of interesting kind of trend that I'm dealing with. So <clears throat> the last six clients that I've had in the last like 24 hours have had the same issue and they grew up with a narcissistic parent um, usually there is some type of um, emotional abuse if not other abuse as well going on at the same time but the emotional abuse usually from a narcissistic is so that they are staying in control you stay off um, kind of kilter or off balance with you and then um, the narcissistic person kind of keeps winning over and over again because you're kind of always off balance and um, all six of the clients also have psychic abilities and I will say that one of the interesting psychic abilities that they have is that they all are really strong clairsensitives and I will tell you more than anything else that is something that um, Clark sensitives deal with is narciss narcissistic people <clears throat> will kind of like seek them out if they're not in their family they will seek them out because narcissistic people um, want to be out of balance and the Clark sensitive wants to be in balance I want to be in peaceful calmness not overwhelmed not kind of crazy that sort of thing but it's one of those if it's not in your family and it's a friend usually you can kind of get away from them at a point <coughs> the problem is though if they're in your family you really don't get a break and where you would normally have kind of like your sanctuary or your time away or I can take a break from this person for a little bit um, when they're your parent you really don't get to do that um, and it can be really overwhelming. I think that is really the hardest part that clairsensitives deal with is they can draw them in as friends and family, um, but when it's family, there's no break. You know what I'm saying? It's like we all go on vacation together. We all do this together. And that is kind of like the crazy hard part um, for them to deal with. So <clears throat> I often tell my clairsensitives, you want to keep your energy as pristine and cleared off as you possibly can during this time frame as you kind of work through this. Um, and this really starts um, in an interesting way is they're always kind of being tormented or tortured or um, emotionally kind of bombarded with the narcissistic's unbalanced energy. And that's what sets the, um, the clairsensitive off is that they're looking for that balance. They're looking for that calmness, that peacefulness, and they're just not getting it um, in as much as they really need it. A lot of times, like, their families don't teach them how to meditate or how to deal with any of this. Because if it's in your family, everybody's dealing with that same narcissistic person. And um, <clears throat> usually you'll have one person that's kind of like, almost like a narcissistic assistant of energy of like we want to make mom calm or we want to make dad calm and we want to do whatever it takes to calm him down so don't fuss fight argue anything else and that that kind of just blows um you know any time of setting your own healthy boundaries or i don't want to do this or being able to voice what you really want or don't want out of your life so much because that narcissistic personality is just kind of keep rolling at you and then anytime you stand up for yourself the narcissistic assistant is like no 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 we can't do that we we want to make everybody i want to be peaceful and you're kind of like okay well, well we'll deal with this i'll i'll kind of calm it down one more time and it just never ends it's this constant cycle of dealing with this narcissistic personality over and over and over and over again and it just never seems to end so one of the things that's also really important to understand is this is really happening on our planet now that narcissistic people are not able to hide and that's a really good thing because it's kind of like getting out there more and more oh this person is narcissistic that's what we're dealing with we're dealing with this kind of energy and so that helps to know about it but it's one of those kind of the crazy part for the clairsensitive is they're not able to hide um, their hurt anymore they're not able to hide the stuff that they've been through the the emotional um, issues or problems that they've dealt with 
since this nar narcissistic personality came into their life, it's like this constant cycle of this is kind of coming to a close and they have to kind of learn how to um, deal with life differently at an advanced age. It's like, okay, I thought this is the way life went and now I'm realizing it's not and I need to flip everything that I know, every piece of information I've learned how to deal with in my life, I'm realizing that that is changing 100%. So it's kind of like, oh my gosh, this is overwhelming. This is not normal for me. This is not a, a normal way that I want to learn how to do this at an advanced age. So it's kind of like, it's not like, oh, I'm, I'm able to change. Um, it's kind of overwhelming because it's like the basics. I thought this was the basics of life and now I'm realizing that that's not the basics of life. That's not how this should be working. And that's what can be really, really overwhelming for the clairsensitive at an advanced age. And I mean anything over like age 25, it's hard to deal with this. It's hard to deal with that energy over and over and over again because it's like, wait, I thought this is, you know, we had gravity and it kept us on the ground and now you're telling me we don't have gravity and that's not how we do this? That's what I'm dealing with. That's the part that just kind of really overwhelms them <clears throat> to a point where they're kind of like, this is crazy because their world is upside down for a while. It, not forever. Um, it's never forever. It feels like it's going to last forever. But I would say usually um, if you um, start working with someone, a healer or an intuitive to kind of help you work through this, it can get pretty quickly into a point where you're like, okay, I feel like I have all the tools that I need to do or require having to be able to get my myself um, in a healthier place. That's the best because like I said, it's kind of flipping your whole world from what you thought you knew how to do or deal with into something that you don't know how to deal with and you don't know how to deal with any of this. And you're kind of having to learn everything all over again. That can be a little overwhelming. So if you are um, a, I want to say like, I guess the best word is victim of a narcissistic personality, either in your friend zone or your family zone, um, make sure that you're reaching out for help. Make sure that you're reaching out for someone who can assist you to give you some guidance and some other help um, dealing with life. This can be really, really um, easy for you. It can be really healthy. It can be really helpful to have someone else's insight into what's going on in and around your life. And hopefully find someone who can help you work through this um, until you're kind of um, able to do it on your own. I thank you so much for joining me today and I know that we'll be talking again soon.